Okay, hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys my first attempt at a blowout and my first attempt at voiceover narration. Bear with me. So I've had my hair um, in twists for about a week and while I was at work I actually went and started pulling them apart. Um, I was very happy um, when I was pulling them apart because it was actually still soft and very moisturized. But then again I did wet this morning and used Tuliwa G's Protective Mist Body Fire. I have the old formula so it's still like my holy grail for moisturizing my hair. All right. So then I'm about to go jump in the shower and I'm going to use the Mosaic Avocado Cleansing Cream. I'm not going to talk about this product too much and how much it works because I'm going to do a review hopefully tomorrow. All right. Then I'm going to detangle my hair while I'm in the shower. Um, and then after that I'm going to use um, my uh, Mosaic um, Deep Hair Treatment. Um, once again, go into all that tomorrow and how I liked it and whatnot. Um, so we're just going to see how this works out. Just have to see how it goes. See you later. Alright, so I just rinsed the hair mask out of my hair and it feels just so great. I mean, shake it. Now, it's time to dry my hair, okay? It's really, really wet. So anytime I do a braid out, I like to absorb as much water as I can. So I use a cotton t-shirt. Now the good thing about cotton t-shirt is it has a smooth surface, okay? So it's really great for um, drying your hair. Whereas a towel, no. It has a rough surface and it can cause frizz and accidental breakage. So that doesn't go on my hair, all right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my t-shirt and I'm gonna start blotting away and try to dry as much as my hair as I can. The cotton t-shirt actually uh, dries your hair really well, like it absorbs a lot of water with very few passes. So you don't have to like spend that much time trying to dry it. You just have a really, really sopping wet t-shirt after you get done with the whole process, okay? So, and I also just want to comment on my edges and how great they look. Don't they look great? They have filled in so much. And once again, that is from not doing so many puffs and break, uh, pull back hairstyles and puffs. So now, it's time to braid my hair. So I like to use the Shea Yogurt Allocate Naturals on my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and plait, and I will see you guys in a second. Alrighty, so here I am. All of my plaits done in my hair. Ooh, what up? Oh, that's Shea Butter. Oh, it'll melt. Whatever. Anyway, so my plaits are just so lovely right now, and I'm just so happy. Oh, and let me go ahead and show you guys. This is the shed hair from after I detangled. I haven't combed my hair in a week. That is so great. Anyway, so I'm tired. It's time to go to bed. So just letting you guys know, you need to make sure you have your satin pillowcase or satin bonnet or whatever, you know, to keep the moisture in your hair that you just worked so hard on sealing because a cotton pillowcase will rub it to death. But see y'all later. Good night. So good morning guys, it's time for me to go ahead and take these braids out as you see it's pretty much dry, still damp on the inside, but we've got to take these braids out. So here's my blow dryer that I'm going to use to blow dry my hair out with. When I blow dry my hair, I'm going to put it on the low setting. I'm not going to put it on the high one. I'm not going to try to go crazy with this heat because most of my hair is already dry. I'm just trying to stretch it out more. In order to use the blow dryer, you know, I have to protect my hair. So I'm going to use the Nexus Heat Protects. Um, I've used it before when I used to straighten out my hair and all that good stuff. A fun fact about it is that it has amyl dimethicone in it and PEG12. But these are water soluble, or at least I can get out with a gentle cleanser, which is where my birth seeds comes in later on when I'm ready to wash out my hair, because you can get both of these two combs out with cocoa bay tea. Okay, so I just go ahead and I'm just going to start taking out my plaits and all that good stuff. Now, I didn't explain to you guys last night, but the reason why I went ahead and braided my hair was that it could already start stre the stretching out process and so that also because it's stretched out I won't have to blow dry my hair like as much um, at, 
I wouldn't have to blow dry it as much because it's already kind of stretched out. So I don't have to work so hard because I didn't let it shrink up. So less passes. I am trying to, in the end, you know, prevent as, you know, as prevent as much heat damage as possible. So anyway, so there it is. There's my hair. Now I still have some curls in there. So I got to take my comb and I've got to comb the rest of that out. I don't want any type of curl left because my hair, my fro, that means my fro will be able to get as big. So I'm trying to get all the curl out that I possibly can. As you see, I'm kind of starting from the bottom and working my way up. So now it's time to take my heat protectant. I was very liberal spraying that on. You know, no time to be approved with that. And next, I'm just going to blow dry on low heat. And the next time you see me, you know, my hair is going to be blow dry out. So take my time and blow dry. All right, guys, here's the final product. Um, like I said, this was like my first blowout. At first, I was a little scared because I thought it wasn't, um, I thought it was going to flop over, but it didn't. And then, like, once I got done detangling each section, I um, <clears throat> then did the blow dry all over my hair one more time. So, yeah, this is it. I'm just, I, I love, like, I'm not going to wear it like this. I got to shape it up some more, but... I really like this um like you'll hear a lot of people say shrinkage is crazy like you would have never thought I had this much hair um after all this time but I'm about to put my Jane Carter nourishing hair cream on here real quick um you know just to protect my ends um and the rest of my hair while it's out today um I have not decided how I'm gonna wear it today but as you guys can clearly see like even while even when it's like curly um I can still like do a tiny ponytail but with this one I can really really do a ponytail or whatever so anyway I'm like I said I'm very pleased with these results um I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna style it so I'm gonna post a picture um once I figure out how I'm gonna style it I'm probably just gonna put one part to the side and call it a day but anyway I'll talk to you guys later bye okay hey guys um so I decided to pin one side back a little bit, but other than that, I kind of just left it alone. I may keep playing with it just a little bit to make sure I kind of get the shape I want, but in general, well, actually, I'll take that back. I pretty much do have the shape that I want, um, so I really like it. Um, I really like my hair. It feels really soft. Um, this would be a great way for me to ask my hair board, okay, what needs to be cut off? Is it, you know, I know I may have some weathered parts i haven't gotten my hair trimmed for split ends in about six months so yep so anyway i have to head off to work and i need to buy find a bigger bow because my hair is just eating this one up and i would really like you know for you guys to see the bow so anyway talk to you guys later bye